Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares Revisited, Chef Ramsay checks up on some of the most challenging owners he's ever met. That's why you need to listen to what I say. They were clueless. Talking to you about food, it's like talking to a brick wall. Stubborn. It doesn't matter if it's frozen or not. It doesn't matter if it's frozen or not. No. And out of control. Shut your face. First, Chef Ramsay visits La Galleria 33 in Boston's North End, where sisters Rita and Lisa had lost a grip on their restaurant. He just dropped the chicken on the floor. I put it back in the pan. And where Lisa was ready to walk out the door. You walk out, I'm out. Next, Chef Ramsay visits the old hitching post in Hanson, Massachusetts, to check on whether hard-headed owner Tom has fulfilled his promise to hand over the restaurant to his daughter, Andrea. I said, no, let me do something you win. I'm leaving. And lastly, he travels to Everett, Washington to get an update on Prohibition Gastropub, where owner Rishi Brown seemed more focused on her belly dancing than running for restaurant. You are kidding me. Get ready for surprising updates. Oh, no. As we find out which owners have stayed on the path to success. Great news. And which owners are back on the road to disaster. Oh, my God. It's happening. Oh, my God. What is that? They're not crap and they're delicious. Then wake up! You wake up! Shut <laughs> the place down! Get out of here! That is amazing! That's embarrassing! Oh, Thank you so much. From the first second I leave a restaurant on Kitchen Nightmares, I'm always wondering how they'll fare. Tonight, we will see how the restaurants I visited last year are doing. And trust me, you won't believe what I found. First up, the Galleria 33 in Boston. Boston's North End, home to La Galleria 33, and these two crazy sisters. Rita. Go talk to the customers. Go entertain them while they're waiting for the fucking food. And Lisa. Rosa, go do something. That's my spot. From the very beginning, they were trouble. I'm pretty sure this is what a nervous breakdown feels like. They didn't have a clue on how to run a restaurant. I mean, you should have seen how the staff behaved. Rosa, could you not do that? Thanks. She told me to sweep. She's sweeping me. She's Lisa. sweeping it on me, though. Don't sweep it on my sisters in the room. I roller. hate you. Once I met these two sisters. Lisa, nice Lisa, Lisa, nice to see you. I'm Rita. Rita, I could tell they were going to be a handful. I think you said what? water, oh, Sarah, honey. Oh, shit. What? Uh, oh, I'm water, sorry. Water, please. No, 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 a little bit too early. <laughs> <laughs> Never too early. <laughs> uh, it is. Lisa loves wine. She likes to drink. I smoke and she drinks. I mean, since we're airing my dirty laundry, oh, I'll let her air her own. Cut that out. Don't say that she drinks. Lisa's great. They told me their parents own a restaurant as well. Oh, your mum and dad have a restaurant? Yep, yeah, five doors In up. Boston? Yes, yeah. right across the street diagonally. You're kidding me. Same menu? I didn't get it. And Rita's ex-husband is the chef. Say that again? I was married to him. Sounds like a soap opera. Yes. Oh, boy. OK. It was time to try the food. Good. I'm Sarah. Oh, please. Sarah, nice to see you. Very nice to meet and you. My server. She didn't hold back, and she certainly wasn't a fan of Rita and Lisa. There is no organization at all. Wow. Not here, not in the kitchen, nowhere. Wow. That's not good. Why is she saying that? Because she's an imbecile. Skank. Frozen gnocchi, frozen meatball, veal paradiso. Oh, come on. Wow. It's like someone's thrown up on my plate. Gross. They call this Italian food, and they wonder why business is down. There's a Michelin chef in here ripping our food apart, and you guys are giggling away, and I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Rita was freaking out. Oh, God. But she had every reason to. Let's just pray that he says the You're like beyond prayer. I just want somebody to kill me at this point. This is too much. When it came time for dinner, I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I walked through the door. Rita was arguing with customers. This is her plate. I yes. took it right from the waiter. Yeah, I know it's And I plate. stuck he my finger. The one that she handed to me to eat was cold. They're all hot. Are you kidding me? They were hot. They, 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 they weren't was, hot to know. us. So they were cold when they got here and they got hot when they came back. I was in absolute disbelief. She was really arguing with them. They're all hot, so I'm just wondering. Oh, my God. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, I saw Chef Doug drop a piece of chicken on the floor, wow. then pick it up and cooked it. You just dropped that on the floor. Yeah. You can't cook it. You just dropped it on the floor. No. But when I brought it to their attention... Uh, Rita, Lisa. Hello, what? He just dropped the chicken on the floor. 
I put it back in the pan. This one here. These sisters just wanted to make excuses. I don't know what if he I says. Didn't say... It's disgusting, but it's what was you wiping his ass? I'm not, but I don't want to be betrayed as a restaurant who serves chicken that's been. I tried to stop him from doing it. I don't know. He's nuts. Oh fuck me. Next thing I knew. Lisa didn't want to be bothered with any of the problems that I was pointing out. I gotta get the fuck out of here. You can't do that. Ridiculous. The douchebag, he doesn't want to help us. He doesn't care. I'm out of here. You go, I'm going. I I'm didn't going. sign I, up for this. Well, I, I didn't give a Mr. fuck what you signed. Let me, let, let me tell you something. I didn't sign up you for walk this. out, I'm out. None of you give a shit here. That's bullshit. Then you turn that off, I'm going as well. You go, I go. Lisa finally came to her senses and realized she needed my help. I do give a shit, but... So if you give a shit, then you'd stay and actually show some willing. I came to help. Okay, I'm just gonna have a glass of wine. We can fix it, it's not too late. I'm here to help. I know. And at times you think I'm not, I'm here no, to help. No, I know you are, I know. But I'm not gonna put a Band-Aid on it. A Band-Aid's not gonna keep this business no. open. No, it won't. No. The next day, I decided the first order of business was a staff meeting. First time ever for this restaurant. Today, it's all about moving forward and changing. Boy, were Lisa and Rita ready. They weren't holding back. Rosa, you're a real sloth. Joe, when I ask you to do something, like wash a window, you know the reason? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Miguel, you scratch your balls in the dining room. But doesn't make me a bad way to scratch my balls. Come on. Wow. They had a lot to say. This is what I see when I walk in. You are sitting there, Sarah, chit-chatting, drinking coffee, and looking miserable. Th because what, whose that's fault something... is that after all? Yours? No, it's yours. You expect it everything to be done. Fault. This business, number one, is not under my name. It's under both of your names. That's Please. why you need to listen to what I say. Finally, Rita and Lisa were standing up to their staff. I'm taking control back today. These two sisters were now committed to moving forward. Next. I had to tackle the food. Just have a little gather over there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I introduced small plates. Did you say it's that? amazing, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and modernized their dining room. Right. This is so oh, nice. clean. Oh, my God. I feel like we have our own identity as a restaurant now. I feel like it's us. I'm excited to work here and be here, and it's beautiful. It was time for the relaunch, and Lisa... Hello, how are you? Can I have your name? Mendoza. And Rita really stepped up. Fire, two specials, a large gnocchi, and a veal also buco. They showed such great enthusiasm by taking control of their staff. Whenever you're ready, send it out. You ready? Take this one. Thank you. Making sure customers were happy. Wow, that's really good. This is amazing. And their food was executed properly. I think that's everything. OK, beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. These sisters are truly, and I mean truly, unique. <laughs> I'll stand here. What, what, what's the matter? You have two arms. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I had such a hard time saying goodbye. Gordon, Chef Ramsay, Chef Ramsay, you can't go. I cannot stay. You can stay. I, 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 just like, just I, I, 20 more I, I, minutes. I, I can't stay Just one also buco more. I, I can't. Coming up. I see oh, him. <laughs> Chef Ramsay is back in Boston. Lisa, Rita. Oh, Lisa and Rita. Holy shit. To find out how Rita and Lisa are doing. Want to see uh, my moonshine? Your moonshine. Have they embraced the changes? Wow. Or have they gone back to their sloppy old ways? Oh, my God. Wait. It's happening. Oh, my God. Fantastic, thank you. I'm sweating like a pig. I can't wait to see Gordon. I'm so excited. I, I'm not going to be able to contain myself. I'm going to try. But we'll see. Rita, Lisa. <laughs> I see oh, come on. him. <laughs> <laughs> come How are you, darling? I'm are you well? Wonderful. Oh, I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. Good him. to see you, both. Are you well? Man, the truck is crazy out there. I know. It's so nice so to be back. The place looks amazing. I've like been yeah. busy. Yeah. This is nice. We've been busy, so we have been busy. Since being on the show, most of the response has been positive. Well, there's been a little backlash because I called Chef Ramsay a douchebag. <laughs> oh, oh, Captain, you well? Oh, God. Has he been promoted? Has he had another, another title? Well, he's he... given himself the other day. He was telling people he was the owner. Why are you here? Everything. I'm like manager slash. Oh, so you're the manager? 
Rita. Yes. Uh, is Pat serious? General manager? He is the bus boy. I just assumed their role. He's the owner now. The owner. Honestly. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get with Pat. You need, like, seven scientists to figure him out. Hey. How are you, bud? You well? Good to see you. You good? Yeah. Is he working hard? You know what? The hard hats. <laughs> the hard hats. Yeah. What, you, you guys back together? No, That's no. That's amazing. No, 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 no. Oh, you're not back together? The, high, the passion oh. of the food. OK, yes. good. Let's bend down together, just in case any chicken on the floor. Well, you can't cook it. You just dropped it on the floor. No. No, no, there's no chicken on the floor. No. Oh, gee, what is that's, that? That's me on the floor dressed as a chicken, so he never forgets of the fiasco. Douglas caused that whole fucking fiasco when he did that whole spiel with the chicken. I was really mad. So I put a picture up on the wall of me dressed as a chicken, thrown on the floor, so he never forgets what he did. I think it's nice that Rita can make light of a shitty situation. I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't, I wouldn't. I don't dress up as things. I'll leave the dressing up to Rita. Good to see you. Excellent. Right, let's catch up with the two girls. Things have been really good since Chef Ramsay left. I think everybody's attitude has changed. Douglas is being much more creative. I'm more motivated. Rita's still Rita, but that's OK. All uh, right, first of all, who's in charge? We are, yeah. I have a better relationship with the staff, because it's more like before they didn't really respect us or what we said, and yeah. now I feel like we're leaders. You know what always got rid of all the riffraff, right? Yeah. Tell me how you got rid of the riffraff. I what did the firing thing that you do when they're not good, rotten fish from the head, cut it off and throw them out. <laughs> That's normal in a business. I know, I'm almost normal. After you, you I'm almost normal. You cannot carry dead wood. No. OK. They were like more than dead wood. They were like a burnt down forest, kind of. Hey, don't forget I, me, huh? Yeah, no. But don't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> I can forget you. You're pouring the water uh, on the table. He's fine, he's fine. Pat, he's... Um, oh, I'm sorry. How about a drink for the ladies? No, I don't. I don't drink in service anymore. You don't drink in service anymore? I'm just going to have a glass of wine. Unbelievable. It's amazing. You're going to have a little glass after service. After service. Um, I smoke. I smoke. She smoked, but that's hard. Smoke. She's you, trying. You said you were going to stop smoking. She said I was going to stop smoking. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, it's, it's a violent okay. habit. I don't want to do it. But... Talk to me over the last 10 months. How's it been business-wise? It's been up to about 15%. 15 yeah, percent. Like, yeah. yeah. Right. all the back bills paid. Two. Mortgage is caught up. When you greet customers, are you chewing gum? No. Are you chewing gum? No. No. What did you chew? I swallowed it. I swallowed it. No. Oh, so you are chewing gum? I was chewing gum. And now you just swallowed it? Yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gordon, for sticking my tongue out. You probably saw my cavities. How are you two working together? Are you on the same page? Yes. I mean, I we were, were pretty, always yeah. on the same page. Lisa but... makes gelato. Mm, She's so creative. <gasps> After you left, all these juices. Yeah. And I cried. I sobbed like a baby. I missed the cameras. I missed you. So I got in trouble because I installed a surveillance system. <laughs> That I spent money foolishly. I, I had it to a machine, and she said we didn't have But I needed that cameras. Time. I, I needed like, cameras, Gordon. Yeah, she doesn't cameras understand. In. I needed the yeah, cameras. So now I have this little Gel machine. machine yep. Yeah. And I have four out, cameras. No. I wanted eight. Right. I settled for four because I wanted a share. I had the surveillance thing on my phone. I could I could flip on my phone and look to see what was going on. But I used to do it while I was driving. And so I, you know, you can't text, and I'm pretty sure you can't watch the surveillance cameras either. So you've got the cameras in, so when you're not here, you can maintain. Well, so sometimes I walk around, and then I go downstairs, and I play it back, and I watch myself. Or if somebody falls, I go and I look <laughs> at it. I think the surveillance cameras are useless. She goes and replays stupid shit, like I fell one time in the kitchen. She'll go downstairs and like watch me fall over and over again. You two have got such a huge they love fan base us, yeah. in London. You know I mean, where else they love us? From prison. Correct. Prison. Yeah. You're huge in prison. Did you know that? In prison. In yeah. prison. Rita's a stalker. He's I have written a stalker. her like eight letters. S seriously? He's yes. coming out in 26 years. He would like to take me for coffee. No, mine are all lifers, so I don't have to. Their life, your, their life is you don't have to yes. worry. Yeah. I've gotten a guy who wants to buy my shoes because he has a foot fetish, marriage proposals, but I'm already married, so, I mean, unfortunately, I have to say no. Sorry. 
Would you see me? I'm going to go down to the bathroom. I'll come back and have a quick bite to eat. Okay. I'll go downstairs. Should I come with? No, no. he's not coming to uh, the bathroom. No, with not me. into the bathroom. No, no, no excuse me. I've got to check something out first before I go to the bathroom. I'm dying to find out what they've got. <laughs> wow. Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Read Lisa. 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 Read on. Holy shit. Yes. 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 Two seconds, please. Yes. Read on, Lisa. I just want both of you. Oh, my God. Quick. It's happening. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. First of all, no. Seriously? Are you kidding me? What is it? It's ice cream. Nothing. It's empty. No, it's empty. Come on. Pull the other one out. Pull the other one out. Wow. So this one's just packed with frozen pasta. What the fuck are they? These are porcini ravioli. Oh, my God. Just gelato, that's it. That's it. You're allowed to have sorbet in the freezer. Yeah, we have to freeze it. Is that house. your little machine? That's my little yeah. machine. I love it. It's, it's so little. little. I'm it's so nice. excited that you're in to sorbet. It's fantastic. Must uh, be my moonshine. Your moonshine? Yeah. Where is it? Over here. Oh, my god. We're going to make an ice cream at this court, and it's going to be so good watching those ears. Jesus Christ, how long has that been brewing in there? Well, it's got a date on there. Yes. I date and label everything, because you taught me. Yeah. Are you drinking that neat? Hell no, I don't drink. I don't even drink yeah. that, and I drink. Oh, oh. Jesus <laughs> Oh, that work! Are you going to put that into the gelatis? Yeah, yeah, so once with, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Bloody hell. This is how we're going to do it. When my moonshine is done, I'm going to give a shot to Pat. And we're gonna wait two days. If nothing happens to him, like death or serious illness, Lisa will then take it and work it into a gelato. Because I don't think I can legally give anybody moonshine. I don't want to go to jail. I, no. I was gonna say again. <laughs> oh Jesus! And, oh my God! I'm dying for you to taste that. Wow. It's like someone's thrown it from a plate. Wow. This is delicious. Miles apart. It's really good indeed. In terms of your glasses, how many different flavors? What are you working on? Well, we can let you taste. I'd love to taste from them. Oh, I have Becky. I'm going to stay okay. here with yeah. the I'll chef. Go ahead. I'll be right back. I don't eat 80% of Lisa's flavored gelato. I don't like that one with the flowers in it. It's another one with honey. Don't like that. Although her gelato's really good. The texture's perfect. But those flavors just. I'm so busy in there. Okay, we have the chocolate orange. Yeah, chocolate yeah, orange. The anise. The anise. Aniseed. Why would somebody order something called anus? <laughs> you can't shout anus sorbet, anybody? I'm humiliated because she says anus to Chef Ramsay. It's disgusting to think of an ass in reference to ice cream. That's gross. That's blackberry lavender. She sometimes yeah, gives them to me you. to eat. And but then my mouth goes on fire because she comes up with all these flavors instead of chocolate. She's a very immature palate. I have to make well, her, Well, like, she smokes. Her taste buds Oh, my are dull. God. What is this beat up weed a day? No, no. This one? That's a, um, anus. anus. Oh, yeah, she just <laughs> anus. Just keep saying anus. 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 Is that it? Anus. Anus. It still sounds like anus. Um, that is delicious. Great job. Seriously, I am so impressed. So am I. Huh? But you're not leaving, are you? No. No, I have to go. Now? You already? Mean, Every time Gordon leaves, I get so sad. We I'm need him here see. in Boston. Because let me tell you, there's a lot of nightmares here. I am <laughs> certainly not the only one. Bye, right, my darling. Come on. Is that time of day? Uh, amazing so lunch. Soon. I know, I know, I know, I know. You keep know, up the you good... can't just walk into our lives and keep, leave like this. Keep, it's not right. Keep up the good work. Good to see you, bud. Yes. Can we revisit, I, okay? I, <laughs> Please. I shall do. Love you. Bye, bye, bye. chef. Bye bye now. I have to admit that both Lisa and Rita are two of my favorite owners I've ever had the pleasure of working with on Kitchen Nightmares. And now, due to all their efforts, the Gallery of 33 is a strong, independent, brilliant restaurant in the North End. And finally, something worthy of their parents' legacy. Look, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Man, honestly. He's gonna check up on us again. You can't leave us for too long without checking up on us because then things, he'll be back. Coming up, 
Chef Ramsay heads back to the old hitching post. Shellfish is something you never freeze. Where a father had a hard time giving up control to his daughter. You know, ready to take over. Find out what startles Chef Ramsay. I want to do the cookie this time. Okay, now. As soon as he walks through the door. Tom, come back. Hanson, Massachusetts. Home to one of the most stubborn owners I've ever met, Tom Caceres. The beef tips, people don't love them. Don't tell me that. This man purchased the restaurant called The Old Hitching Post for his daughter, Andrea. Good afternoon, Old Hitching Post. But had no intention of ever giving it to her. You, you gotta make sure water comes Janice in. Janice is in the front. But end. I want you to be there too. Well, why don't you go? Because, no, you. From the beginning, I could already tell that Tom and Andrea were on two completely different pages. What I'm saying to you, Andrea, you're not ready to take over. That's not true. Definitely not a nice situation. And sitting in that drab dining room didn't make it any better. I know we're in the uh, area of Cranberry, but my God, from napkins to the walls, it's Cranberry OD. Then I met my server, Carla. Oh, Carla. When, when was this one made? This was made today. She lied to me. She told me the food was fresh. Dry, horrible texture. Are you sure that was made today, darling? It was not, chef. It's frozen. It's yes. frozen. Frozen. Carla, why are you doing this to me? Sorry about that. But I wasn't going to get mad at her. I mean, look at it. It was Tom who was living in a fantasy world. He thought there was nothing wrong. And on top of that, he thought I was going to love his food. I thought you were going to love my midlock, regardless if it was frozen. You thought I'd like that? Well, I really did. It's an insult to America. In this area, that's what they love. Tom was refusing to see the problems, even though they were staring him in the face. And on top of that, he wouldn't listen to me or his staff. They talk all the time that the food's not that good. Did you tell him to change? You don't let him change things. I never allowed him. I never off. allowed him not he to change says anything. He tries to when take did take I tell you off? not to change? I've tried to take things Come off. Come on, man. Piece of shit. So a new dinner service would be a challenge. But I didn't expect Tom to tell me that his frozen scallops smelled ocean fresh. Just smell inside there. It smells beautiful, ocean fresh. I've never heard or seen that advertised before. Rule number one when stunning to be a chef, fresh food doesn't smell, taste fucking better once it's frozen. Here you are lecturing me that that fucking thing is fresh. It wasn't just me. Tom's daughter, Andrea, couldn't believe what she was seeing either. Oh, my god. And she knew her dad needed to change. I want this business, but I want it I want it to function correctly. And my fear is that by the time it comes to me, what am I going to do with it? There's nothing to have. After Tom realized he shouldn't serve frozen food, he then came to me open with the idea of changing. You got my support 100%. I want to be right next to you. We have to change immediately. And I trust you. Mm -hmm. I need your help. Let's get together. It was a shocking turnaround from such a stubborn man. You know what? I was blind all this time. Now that Tom had realized what he was doing wrong, it was time to get to work. Remember those dreadful cranberry walls? I got rid of them immediately. <gasps> wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are we in the Oz? Stay with me. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Tom and Andrea were on the same page about something. You like it, Dad? I love it. It was time to relaunch the restaurant. I put Andrea in charge. Table 23, two clam chowders, Caesar and a wedge salad. And it was an absolute success. Up, got it? Carlo, pick up 29. Andrea, show them what you can do, honey. Tom could see how Andrea was ready to run the old hitching post on her own. I said, no, but you something you want. I'm leaving. Okay. I want you to take care of it. I want you to be successful. And you know I'm going to always be next to you for whatever you need. I know. So, go out there, girl, and get them. OK. All right? I love you, Dad. I love you, too, honey. To be honest, I never thought we would get here. Getting the OK from my dad to step up and be in charge, it's amazing. Well done. To you all. Thanks, Dad. I'm 
back at the old hitching post where I met a very stubborn owner, Tom, who bought a restaurant for his daughter. Even after seven years, he wasn't ready to hand her control, but I was able to convince him that she was more than capable and definitely ready to run the restaurant on her own. I'm just hoping he stuck to his word. Last year when I came to the old hitching post, Tom, the owner, was running his restaurant like a tyrant and running the business and his daughter into the ground. After much convincing, he finally handed over the control to his daughter, Andrea. I'm hoping that is still the case. That color, beautiful. Hello. How are you? I'm proud. <laughs> I am so happy to be so back. nice to see you. Good to see you. you. look great. Thank you. The color of this building is so inviting. It's called Showstopper Red. Whose idea was that? My idea. And um, where is Tom? You're not going to find him in here. Tom has definitely left the building. He's not here no. anywhere. Wow, that is great news. My dad has left. He's definitely out of the building. It took a long time, but my father finally trusts that I know what I'm doing, and dad is officially gone. That pivotal moment when that transition took place, when was that? It took him a long time to, to realize that. It's been, we're on month four now of completely being on our own and running the show. On most parts, my hands are tied. Just he's having a hard time backing down. Are you running the business? We run everything. Wow. Financials, everything, everything got turned over into my name. So when I first arrived, the business was losing money. And um, where are we now? We pay all of our bills. Everything is taken care of. That's fantastic. Yeah. Where is Tom? Tom is actually next door with my daughter. He's next door? Yeah. Baby City. Yeah. Why don't you bring Dad over? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Thanks, Tony. Excellent. Since Gordon left, my dad has moved about an hour and a half away. Now when I see my dad once a week, it's family time instead of, like, kill each other time. Tom. Sev Ramsey, come here. Oh, hi. Good to see you. Uh, likewise. It's been a year. Good to see you, too. Have you missed me? Very much. <laughs> um, this young lady has finally got the reins. I was a little bit nervous on the way in. I was thinking that you were going to pull back control. I would never do that. Thank you for standing true to your words. Why don't we go and have a catch up, maybe a bite to eat? Absolutely. Yeah? Gordon thought I was very stubborn person. He didn't believe me I was going to give the restaurant to my daughter. But I love Andrea. She loves every bit of it. I thought I'd walk in the door, you'd be running around. Screaming and shouting. It doesn't matter if it's frozen or not. It doesn't matter if it's frozen or not. No. But your daughter has the range. She has 100% control now. Before you said that, Andrea wouldn't last any longer than three months on her own. But what I'm saying to you, Andrea, you're not ready to take over. That's not true. How are you feeling now? I think it's going to last for a very long time. Yeah. And she loves the business. Yeah. When you love what you do, Absolutely. you cannot go wrong. You, in general, I mean, you look less stressed than you did last time. I'm looking forward to go back to business very, very soon, you know? Yeah. I'm going to do the cooking this time. So are you going to be opening a new restaurant? Yep. And you're going to be in the kitchen? Yep. Fuck oh, me. I know. What are you going to do? Will you be using fresh collops or frozen? Shellfish is something you never freeze. And now here you are lecturing me that that fucking thing is fresh. 100% fresh, as always. I know you're going to get upset with this. I'll say it quietly. Do you still think that frozen scallops taste better than fresh? Absolutely. Fucking okay, hell. <laughs> no, fresh as always. Fresh as always. So Challenging is my life. Chef Ramsay, Hello, welcome Michael. to the Hitch and Post. <laughs> welcome. Good to see you. Tom, let's catch up later. All right. OK? Good to see you. Good to see you. And likewise. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Excellent. Sit down. Yes. So good to see you. So good to see you. I'm so happy to be back. Darling. Yes. Chef Ramsay. Sit down. There's a Thank quick catch so up. Yep. First of all, ladies, good to see you. Good to you see you. Well. Um, Tom has left the building. Tom is gone. <laughs> Great news. It, it really is. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Andrea, tell me about her performance. I'm so proud of her. Mm -hmm. She has stepped up seriously. Wow. Big difference that I see is she's managing the business. Yes. In the past, the whole business was in Tom's head. Mm -hmm. Tom runs a business his way, and he's not open to alternative ideas. We look forward to coming to work. Mm -hmm. Nice. And the meatloaf is flying out the window. It's fresh. It's, it's fresh. Delicious. I'm not lying to my customers. Oh, the meatloaf. When, when was this one made? This was made today. Are you sure that was made today, darling? It was not, chef. It's frozen. It's yes. frozen. Frozen. Carla, why are you doing this to me? Sorry about that. No fibs today. No fibs today. No I fibs promise today. you it's fresh. Promise me? Hi. <laughs> Carla, swear. The food here at the Old Hitch and Post restaurant is fresh. Fresh. The feedback is excellent. Food, right. everything. 
great. It's so nice to see you both. You, you know too. That. Honestly, you I too. miss you both. Thank you very much. I lie a lot to my customers. Everything was fresh, I was told to say. Now we can be honest, the meatloaf here is fresh. It's not like those Greek maracas. I want you to love my meatloaf. Yeah. Do you hear the little maracas? Hi, chef. Our new host favorite, fresh meatloaf. That oh, looks beautiful. Um, so, meatloaf. Wow, I mean, presentation looks beautiful. So, how ironic is that? Dad's gone to change the diaper. You're running the business. <laughs> that is absolutely delicious. I mean, something that definitely makes you want to get out of your house. How was that uh, meatloaf? It tastes like uh, TV dinner that I give my three-year-olds. <laughs> yeah, that's been polite. Food is amazing. Uh, that what was I... my biggest thing, is just give people really good food so that they want yeah. to come back all the time. But you've got great food. We, have, um, we do. In a great building mm -hmm. uh, with a great owner. Thank you. I'm so happy that you came back. Having Chef Ramsay come in here again and give us his approval was like a breath of fresh air, and it, it just gave me the power and the will to want to do more. First of all, congratulations. Yeah, Thank well done. Thank you. Um, keep it up. <laughs> come here, you. You, everything. you Greek yeah. gods, you. <laughs> Honestly, it's strong as an ox. Good luck <laughs> with the new restaurant. Thank you so okay. much, and it was my pleasure meeting you. Take care. You'll have to come back. Please. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I always knew that Andrea had it in her to run the old Hitching Post, but I'm more thrilled that Tom actually let her take over and run the business. Now, she's proven she's a great owner by making a big success of this amazing restaurant, and she's even made her father so proud too, so good on her. Coming up, Chef Ramsay heads back to check in on Prohibition Gastropub. Uh, where's Rishi? And to see what owner Rishi has been up to. Oh, no. But what he sees... Turn not be right with you! ...may have him wishing he had never gone back. Oh, no. I'm going. Everett Washington, home to the Prohibition Grill and belly dancer, Rishi Brown, who was very keen to show us all her moves. Unfortunately, not in a good way. Um, have you just been to a party or...? No, I just no. got all dressed up just for you today. Oh, so you just you, you don't dress like that normally? No, I do dress like this normally. Oh, you do dress like yeah. that normally? Yeah. Wow. I was hoping she paid as much attention to her food as she did her outfit. What's the soup of the day? The soup of the day is jalapeno corn chowder. Mm -hmm. What was it yesterday? Jalapeno corn chowder. Oh, so it's soup every two days. And last week? Uh, so, soup of the week. It's soup of the week. I quickly learned that she didn't know the definition of soup of the day. What's that? Soup of the day means a daily changing soup. Oh. I didn't even know what the soup of the day meant. I thought that just meant what soup we were serving that day. Wow. Yeah, wow. that was lame. Soup of the day. A new soup every day. OK, I'm going to talk to him about that. Wow. At that point, I could have left there and then. I didn't realize how clueless she was. I'm not that stupid. It's just that's what I understood that meant. The frightening thing was that Rishi didn't think there was anything wrong. I liked it. I thought it looked nice and kind of unique and different. Then again, she didn't even know what soup of the day was. I don't know what to say. I like the food. I think the food is great here. I didn't know why she wasn't listening to me. I wanted to see dinner service in action. I knew I was in for a show, but trust me, not that kind of show. You are kidding me. Are you fucking serious? I'm not joking you. Close the doors, put me off my dinner. Fuck me. It wasn't just a belly flop in the dining room. Oh, my God. It was in the kitchen as well. Look at that. Dry as anything. The meat's cooked and raw on the same shelf. Rule number one. Cross-contamination. Ex explain to Rishi. Never saw a cooked product next to a raw product. What is this, guys? Oh, my god. It's trout. What is New that? trout, old trout. And that there is the fresh one underneath, right? Oh, my god. I couldn't let it go on any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry and I'm so disappointed, but whatever you're eating now, just stop. Ridiculous. Let's go. Rishi finally started to see that this place was in serious trouble. I actually feel sorry for you. Do you know why? You're being used. Step up. Yeah. Get a grip. Yeah. Because time right now is not your friend. So the next day, Rishi stepped up and decided to make some big changes. 
I don't want to beat around the bush about it. Unfortunately, I'm letting you go. I'm sorry. After seeing that Rishi was serious about being an owner, I was ready to turn Prohibition Grill into Everett's first ever gastro pub. So I transformed the decor. Oh, my God! <laughs> Prohibition Grill is no longer a grill. Welcome to your new gastro pub. Ah! Designed a stunning menu. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Yum. Oh, my God. That was amazing. And gave Rishi a new look. Wow, you look amazing. Thanks. I huh? love it. <laughs> At the relaunch, Rishi proved that she could take charge of a restaurant. Fire left one, please. Left one heard. All right, and the salmon for you, my dear. The bourbon glaze is fantastic. Good night, my Okay, good take night, care. Chef Ramsey. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here in Everett, Washington, to check in on the Prohibition Gastro Pub and its owner, Rishi. Now, last time I was here, gastro pubs were fairly new to this part of town. So it would be interesting to find out how the locals took to the new Prohibition. But more importantly, did Rishi stick to a promise with no more belly dancing? Time to check in. Last year, Prohibition Grill owner Rishi had to be one of the most clueless restaurateurs I've ever met. And it took a lot of convincing to get her to step out of that belly dancing costume and into the role of running her restaurant. But we did it. And I'm back and very anxious to see how she's doing. Fingers crossed. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good, wow. how are you? Welcome very back well. to the Prohibition. I'm so happy to be back here. Yeah. Um, look at this place. Yeah, it's been wow. great. It's it really looks great. gorgeous. Uh, where's Rishi? Oh, no. Is that the music? That's you the music. are kidding me. <laughs> oh, no. She promised me no more. Burn, I'll be right with you. You, you prom... Just kidding, Chef Ramsey. You are so bad. I was so excited, and then I got really nervous. I know. I'm sorry, Gordon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you for coming. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. You yes. look great. The restaurant's Thank busy. You, and Chef you Ramsey. look like an owner. Thank yeah. you. Smart okay, and hey. tucked away. You look great. Right, good. Hair looks Thank amazing. You. In general, how's business? Little by little, it's uh, catching on fire. Let's go and catch up, shall we? Someone okay. nice and quiet. I'm really so excited today because I really want to show Chef Ramsay what I've done. I'm not this clueless, you know, belly dancer turned restaurateur. First of all, congratulations. This place looks amazing. Thank um, you. No more belly dancing, right? No more belly dancing. Excellent. Yes. How are you doing personally? Oh my gosh, well, I'm gonna tell you, I've been working around the clock here since you left. Now, I'm totally an owner here. Right. I'm involved in what's going on in my kitchen. Yep. I'm involved in the ordering. Yep. I mean, my consulting chef, Marquetta Shrek, she's spectacular. It's changed my life, it's awesome. I'm so pleased to hear, because you were so distant, and oh you had no God. idea what was going on there. It was I almost no like, idea. And yeah. oh, closer to the business than ever before. Oh, wow, there's wow, no wow. comparison, Chef Ramsey, yeah. yeah. Right, I'm gonna quiz you. Oh gosh. Okay. First question. What's the soup of the day? I didn't even know what the soup of the day meant. It's a soup made fresh daily. And what does the word fresh mean? Fresh means... I thought fresh means that it's not frozen. Food at the peak of its life. That's what it means to me. Food that is beautiful, vibrant. How do you grow oysters? Oh, my goodness. You don't make an oyster, you just open them. Huh? Yes, in the shell. <laughs> we grow them in the shell in the, in the ocean. And what's the secret of a good belly dance? To have a great shimmy and undulation that work well together. <laughs> That's undulating. Where does belly dancing belong? In appropriate venues, Brilliant. not at work. You're keeping your belly separate from your business. Absolutely. I'm so pleased to hear that. Thanks, you know that. Chef Ramsey. Before I may have been that naive owner, not so much anymore. He can quiz me all he wants. I got the answers. Hi, my darling. Good to see you. Likewise, good to see you. Likewise, to see you How's it going? Well. Oh, yeah. Has this lady been demanding on enforcing higher standards with her team? She's a force in the kitchen, that's for sure. Great. You are serious. I'm on it. Oh. Hey, I, even do, I even do a prep shift here a couple times a week. You prep as well? Yes. I'm impressed. It's a pleasure meeting you. It was great to meet you. Likewise, my darling. Good to see you. Well done. Keep up the good work. Man, I've got to go back in there. Huh? Yeah. My favorite spot in here. I know this. 
Close the doors. Bring off my dinner. Belly dance. That was a belly flop. So, Chef Ramsay, we're going to have you okay, sit Grace. right here. Mm -hmm. Thank and you, um, mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the kitchen and prepare a meal for you. Would that be OK? I, I have something wait. special that I'm cooking myself for you. Last time Chef Ramsay was here, he didn't like anything on our menu. And today, I'm a little nervous, but I feel confident he's going to love his lunch. OK, Chef Ramsay, wow. this is our IPA barbecue shrimp with wow. spicy sausage on creamy yellow grit. That looks amazing. And wow. we have a little sample of the braised pork shoulder with the spatzel and wow. the wild mushrooms. Take a seat, darling, Thank please. Thank you. The creamy grits is one of my specialties. I make them every day. What do you think? The grits are amazing. Oh, thank you. Wow. That is delicious. I think of this, and it really does stand out as a true gastro pub dish. Thank you. But then I have that little nightmare and that little flashback to the salmon. Oh, my god. Remember the, the salmon? pinwheel salmon? That is fucking disgusting. I will never forget that dish. I'll never forget when you rolled it out, and I was like. Bloodlines on there as well. Nasty. You have really embraced the change, haven't you? Oh, my gosh. Chef Ramsay, I love it. And to see that you've got one foot in the kitchen, and you're running the business from the engine room yes. and in control. I'm so encouraged to hear you say that. Come with me. I've got a little surprise for you. Chef Ramsay really helped me to quickly understand that change needed to occur. Is my makeup all smeared? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Looks amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry for interrupting, but I'm so excited to be back here because this place is amazing. Thanks to this lady here. Great job. Um, I would like to just introduce you to a very special guest. Please give a warm welcome for the mayor of Everett, Ray Stepperson. Sir, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Ray. Thank you for doing all this so meaningful. I know uh, Ray has a few uh, words to say to you do. and your team. Sir. To everyone who is here, I, Ray Stephenson, mayor of the city of Everett, do hereby proclaim July 31st, 2013, as Prohibition Gastro Pub Appreciation Day. most amazing moment of my life. Uh, good job. Thanks, Chef Ramsey. Mm -hmm. I love Take you, and thank you again for everything. Okay. Come back. Keep thank up the good you. work. Thank, thank you, Dan. Take care. Thanks Bye, guys. Bye, thank Chef Ramsey. Bye-bye. He's so handsome. Wow, what a success. Rishi has really impressed me. And it's so nice to see her go from a completely oblivious owner to someone who's now in control of a restaurant big time. And it's so nice to see the town of Everett embracing a true gastro pub. Long may it continue. Thank God, no more dancing. I want to know where the fuck you were eating cat food. Fucking oh, shit. I want to remember this moment. Jesus Christ. Did you ever do any work? Thanks for making me look short. <laughs> hello, hello. A dumb waiter. Fuck me, what's his name? Help me! Canned food? No, no, it's ship food. Mayday, mayday! Hold that for me, Price, please. <laughs> Sit back and dream a beautiful soup. <laughs> 